for those of you new in the Seventh-day Remnant Church, I would like to offer you an answer as to why people in the Seventh-day Adventist Church keep slandering us and accusing us of being finger pointers and tyrants. They have done this in emails, phone calls, face-to-face meetings, on videos, and in some SDA magazines, no less. But why is it we in the SDR Church are accused of being tyrannical or hateful or even doctrinally wrong whenever we try to help someone trapped in the SDA Church in the hopes of helping them see the danger that they're in by staying in apostasy? Why is it the scriptures we offer and the spirit of prophecy referencing causes them to get so very upset with us? Well, since both the SDR and most in the SDA Church understand the validity of the spirit of prophecy, I would like to share some truth from Facts of Faith on page 81. Korah and his company, who aspired to the priesthood in their self-confidence, even took the censers and stood in the door of the tabernacle with Moses. Korah had cherished his envy and rebellion until he was self-deceived, and he really thought that the congregation was a very righteous people and that Moses was a tyrannical ruler, continually dwelling upon the necessity of the congregation's being holy when there was no need of it, for they were holy. These rebellious ones had flattered the people in general to believe that they were right and that all their troubles arose from Moses, their ruler, who was continually reminding them of their sins. The people thought if Korah could lead them and encourage them and dwell upon their righteous acts instead of reminding them of their failures, they should have a very peaceful, prosperous journey, and he would without doubt lead them not back and forward in the wilderness, but into the promised land. They said that it was Moses who had told them that they could not go into the land and that the Lord had not thus said. Korah, in his exalted self-confidence, gathered all the congregation against Moses and Aaron. So, for all those babes in the SDR church that are doing all you can to help people out of danger, when they get upset and angry, don't worry about it. If you have love and scripture to back up your approach, and do so in as loving a way as possible. They are not angry with you because you did something wrong. They are angry with you because you did something right. Thank you for watching. God bless.